Okay guys, so this is kind of a <laughs> redo of sorts. I did a two versus one comparison and it ended up being 19 minutes. And so what I want to do is make something a little bit shorter so it's not that big of a commitment and uh, just kind of hit on the real important points. Okay, uh, you know, SVS sent out these uh, PB1000s for me uh, to do this review and because I was curious, I've heard a lot about, you know, it's better to get two versus one and uh, what I want to know is for the same budget, which is better, you know, going with a single large sub or two smaller subs. And, you know, it's a real important thing, uh, for me anyway, that you understand that for it to be effective, at least in my mind, I think it needs to have subs that are at least as good as the PB1000s, meaning true response down to 20 and, you know, being authoritative, not just have, not just making noise. And these do that 100% uh, easily. And, and so, uh, I'll say overall, just to sum it up, I do like having the two smaller subs over the single sub. And it's not, you know, that's a, a, a Shoe VTF-15H, it's an uh, MK1, so they've got an MK2 out now, it's, uh, you know, more power, that kind of stuff. But it's not, it's not that sub's fault. I mean, that's a great sub, it digs deep, it, you know, it, it's, it's quality. What I'm, what I found throughout this entire experiment is that you really want two of those if you're going to go with, with the VTF-15. Not because, you know, it's not enough power to, to fill your room as it is. No, there's plenty of power. It does the job. It, it hits hard. It goes deep. It does all the stuff it's supposed to do. But two just sounds better than one. It's kind of like a, you know, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. but. The difference in my chair meant that, you know, dead spots really resolved a whole bunch. Uh, the evenness throughout the room was a lot better, and and it had more of that home theater impact, like you that you get when you go to something like an IMAX theater or something like that. The, the, the impact is better. Everything is more substantial. So you know, in those terms, two is better than one for sure. And, you know, I thought, well, gosh, how much extension am I going to lose? And truly, I did not lose much extension at all. I mean, you know, these are authoritative down to 21 hertz. Uh, you know, that one, the, the VTF-15, you know, it's, it's authoritative down to, you know, 19 hertz when it really starts to kind of taper off. And it goes down to 17, you know, it does it. So, you know, um, I'm going to have to reshoot this video because Bear, hey. Buddy, bear. That ruined my video. Oh, now you're gonna lick your junk? All right. And to get back to it. So, I'm gonna do some editing now. But uh, anyway, it's not the VTF's fault. It's nothing that, you know, it's not like that sub couldn't perform to do the job. It definitely did. You know what I mean? There's no... I mean, I'm not trying to pick on the big sub. It does a great job. Uh, I will say that it does... It is beneficial to have the smaller subs in terms of not standing out. Not having it be this giant... Bless you, Bear. Uh, not having this giant uh, sub is, is a little bit better for living room continuity. Now, if you, got, if you have a, a separate home theater that's... You know, that's its sole purpose. You know, no problem. It does quite well. Uh, but you know, when you're, when you're talking about multi-use rooms like my room, it's, I don't have a dedicated room. This is just my living room. And so having the smaller subs is nice. Now I'm not afraid of big subs. I'll run two of those. I have no problem. You know, I'll run two VTF 15s. They sound great. So, you know, but that has, you know, if, if, if I had to start over from scratch tomorrow, dual subwoofers would be an absolute priority. So. Uh, that's what I've learned over this whole thing. You know, the response is better, the dead spots are gone. I mean, it's just, for me, it's, it's you know, you, first you start off with finding a good sub, okay? That's important. I've got the best subwoofer list. Uh, that, you know, I only list really good stuff there. If it only goes down to 25 hertz, sorry, it doesn't make the cut. It's gotta go down to 20, okay? And beyond that, it, it's gotta have some sort of pedigree, I mean, you know, people with better ears than mine have to have been wild about it before I'll put it up there, okay? Um, you know, that list has all kinds of good ones. 
these PB1000s, they set the bar in terms of it has to be at least as good or better than those to be on the list. Uh, and the, the, the PB1000s are the most economical and they are the smallest. So, you know, the, the very, very smart buy, probably the smartest buy in base. Uh, in, you know, I think that they're just a, a, a great solution for people that, you know, want to have the want to have the the best performance they can afford but you know are not willing to spend you know five thousand dollars on base you know which is understandable you know not everyone has that <laughs> so you know in terms of economics uh the pb 1000 make a heck of a lot of sense and uh anyway i'm gonna end the video on that i'm trying to keep it short and i'm already a little bit over but hopefully that helps and you know check out the rest of the channel i've set it up to where you can search everything and you know, you can find videos that may answer questions that you've had because they're questions that I've had. And that's kind of what I'm doing. It's just answering things that I've figured out myself. So anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching and uh, please subscribe.